Alright, welcome everybody. Right now I'm starting up Transformers Devastation. I did not think I was going to like this game when it first came out, as it came out to a lot of controversy. No multiplayer, no playable Decepticons, and until this Nemesis Prime skin came out, no Decepticon emblem on your character. So right now we're going to start it up on the hardest difficulty. You have to beat the game on Commander, then on Magnus, to unlock the final difficulty. So I am currently maxed out. I did my first playthrough on the hardest difficulty that was available, which was Commander. And I do still regret that to this day. While it was a fun experience and made the game more worth it, I, uh... It was not the best. Let's just put it like that. Alright. Giant explosion starts off the game. <laughs> Crudely animated car crashes and giant robot arms that come out of nowhere. This was a... This was a straight G1 episode throughout. And that's what I liked about this game. And right now, we're gonna get into it straight into it from a Decepticon point of view. Now, when you look at the way the characters, Megatron, Starscream, Soundwave, the uh, overall cast of the Decepticons is pretty classic, and additionally, they have, like, interesting powers and abilities, and I think that was something that was not capitalized on in some of the other, uh, not games, but shows in general. This made it a little more realistic, a little more fun. You know, Devastator shoots drills. You know, of course, Megatron, you know, berates Starscream, a special ability all in itself. One of these days, Megatron. Here's uh, Starscream dreaming again. Use the kinetic shields to build me a perimeter. Some people said the plot of this game was a little off, but I actually think that um, the setup is just very similar to G1, and I don't think it was supposed to be a perfect, um, you know, like, how is Grimlock running that fast? Do we really need to know? Well, luckily, I will not be playing as Optimus. As you saw, I will be playing as Nemesis. So I can uh, just assume that uh, all the Decepticons that I'm beating in this game are imposters. The, the soundtrack for this game was a lot of fun as well. The humans are evacuated and our mission is clear. Save the city and stop Megatron. Heroic speech from Optimus interrupted by falling building. A routine patrol with four bots and stasis. Just kidding. That's how every uh, Rescue Bots episode starts. Is with something about to fall on somebody. And then it cuts to the commercial. Like we don't all know that they're going to avoid being crushed somehow. What in the world is all of this? Alright, giant wind is turbines. If any component of the so game was silly, it, it was this. Winds, like they're to sweep the they're creating the hurricane Whatever force the purpose, winds. There is more to Whatever their purpose. The yeah, exactly. So, I personally like collecting those little um, objects and... monetary coins throughout the game and I really liked the uh, Decepticon troopers in this I liked them actually better than the portrayal of Viacons even though Viacons were great yeah I don't even bother to complete the combo the first time <laughs> It's pretty easy to get interrupted on this difficulty. These guys are, are just a pain. Oh, yeah, they killed me. But of course I have a stack of those auto repair kits. These are actually uh, my favorite enemies, I think, to face that are not main Decepticons. 
they can actually land a hit on you. The rest of the uh, characters are like the stormtroopers. Well, except for the, the uh, Insecticons, of course. Uh, get another repair kit. Now if you see, uh, I'm using Megatron's fusion cannon as my uh, primary rifle. But what's cool is it comes with a shield, kind of like a gladiator shield. And you may recognize my sword as the Dark Star Saber. So there's weapons from Transformers Prime. There's uh, weapons like the Forge of Solus Prime. There's weapons from the third Transformers movie, Dark of the Moon, including Optimus's wrist swords. Whatever those were called, I can't recall. Yeah, you can dramatically blow up or knock over almost anything. And it gives you uh, hidden like health and coins. The coin side of it is not worth it on the higher difficulties. Let me know in the comments if you want to see me get frustrated with the um, the challenge modes. I've done uh, most of them, but there's one I just haven't been able to beat. So maybe I'll stream specifically that one if you want to see uh, this relatively even-tempered Megatron uh, lose his cool. Now the first time I tried to record the, this, um, I actually hit every one of these lasers on the way through because I had to, you know, actively not think about it. Like on all my other playthroughs, I never hit the lasers. Or it's very infrequent. But on the first time I tried to record it, I was like, okay, here we go, the lasers are coming up. All right, I uh, hit that one, and then this door gave me a problem. Unfortunately, that uh, recording, which had some funny mo moments in it, was uh, not, you know, able to be recovered. And here I go slaying some of the actual uh, competent Decepticons, these little sergeants. And all of these models uh, that you see, the character models, and maybe even some of the maps will be available in VR chat. It's something that we're working on with some other uh, Transformers uh, content creators. I'm really disappointed that it didn't drag that guy over the edge. But the slow-mo, you know, shot with the fusion cannon kind of makes up for it. So when I got here on Commander difficulty on my very first playthrough, I was uh, so excited to play against Devastator until he started killing me 30, 40, then 50 times because I had a completely unleveled character. This was quite the challenge. I could not be hit once. Now one of the best ways to take down Devastator in this game is to go for his legs and then aim for his head when he's weakened. There's also an achievement that I think is for this level, and another one where you are um, doing damage to his legs and he stumbles into the buildings. I tried to make this a little more interesting than just overpowering Devastator with my um, ridiculous weapons, but it was a little hard not to... Uh, kill him so easily. As you can see, um, my maxed weapons do a lot of damage. It's just your health uh, it takes a pretty heavy toll if you get hit at all. This stupid stuff that gets stuck on you. Just use your guns, don't waste your time. If these bombshells come around, just just shoot them. Even if it looks cool to go into a slow-mo bombshell execution. 
Now, throughout the map, uh, I will not be reviewing this, but there are hidden objects like you can shoot laser beak, and that unlocks, I believe, uh, concept art. And then additionally, uh, you can unlock things such as um, like uh, bios, character bios, character models to look at. And then there's these awesome chests. Some, some of them give you a lot of stuff, some of them are just annoying. And then uh, some of this uh, hitting content can only be hit with a sniper rifle. If you try to hit it with anything else, uh, you will be able It's just as simple as that. Accuracy was not some of these weapons' strong suits. I love the simplicity of a giant claw attacks. It seems like something that a uh, young kid would come up with to uh, give Optimus Prime a little bit more of a challenge than just his regular foes. And I think that was one of the strengths of this game. What is the meaning of this? Optimus, come to save the day, I presume? I am here to stop you from destroying the city. I enjoy stop how smug me. Megatron is in this game. Oh, Prime, you have no idea what you're really up against, do you? Who is really behind this? this Look at that uh, billboard now, in the background. Megatron. We should respect it. No matter, Prime. I have no interest in destroying Earth. But I'm not opposed to making a few, shall we say, I think this might be one of my favorite <laughs> plot points where uh, they go um, and talk about sacrificing Earth to create a new home for Cybertronians. Now, I wish that Megatron was portrayed like this in the, um, the show, as having things like a shield or, you know, able to actually fire a weapon that was, you know, deadly to Optimus. Transformers Prime almost did a good job with that. What in Cybertron's name? <laughs> Autobots, Megatron is headed for that steel tower. Move out! So when I first played this game, I thought, well, I was mad the whole time because it was on the hardest difficulty, but huh, I thought that was, uh, you know, pretty lame. The, um, the whole giant claws and jets that were just randomly around. And like if it was a hurricane force wind, how does it conveniently propel you on top of a building? You know, I was really overthinking it. I wanted to hate the game, but it is actually a lot of fun. And I do like the slow-mo uh, entries and executions. And there's some pretty cool uh, combos you can do in this game as well. I like using um, the uh, trailer cab to uh, knock down or sideswipe the enemies away. So we're going to keep these episodes around 15, 20 minutes, so I'm going to complete this fight here and then uh, pause. And then we'll probably continue sometime later this week. We're going to upload two of these 15 minute devastation videos. Another slow-mo kill. It unfortunately looks like dabbing to me. Alright. I'm gonna pause right here. Incoming Decepticons! Megatron is putting the pressure on! Okay, one more slow-mo. Alright, so we've reached that 15 minute mark, everyone. 
I look forward to seeing you later this week when we upload part two of this. Reroute all likes and subscribes to this YouTube channel. But sir, what about the other YouTubers? Any further objections? Ram this video straight into the minds of our viewers.